Hi everyone, this is Kelly. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I just wanted to share a quick little preview of how I prepare my canvases for painting. This was going to be at the beginning of my premiere uh, painting video that I'm doing this coming Sunday, but it was going to be too long. I hope you find this information helpful. Let's go. I wanted to show you how I do the backs of the paintings. So these are just um, level one canvases um, that I've got. These are eight by 16 inch. And I'm gonna do a triptych, but it's, it's gonna be a triptych that can be sold separately because I'm gonna do three different techniques on the painting. For each of the paintings will be three different techniques but using all the same colors so reasonably it should be able to be sold together if i do it right um, but i always like to make my paintings so that they can be sold separately and or could work together as a set so um, this one is a like i said a triptych of uh, three 8 by 16 inch canvases and I just tape the back I use my little um, palette knife it's a straight edge palette knife and I just and rather than getting scissors out and trying to cut a straight line which doesn't ever seem to work for me so I just use the palette knife to cut a nice straight edge on my tape and I like to leave a little bit of room I'll show you in a minute here real close. A little bit of room on the back side of the canvas so that, I don't know if you guys can see, see this little, little bit of, just a little bit, maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter inch. Eh, sometimes a little bit smaller, sometimes a little bit bigger. But I resin almost all of my paintings. So when the resin drips over, if you don't have a, a big enough gap for it to hold, what happens is sometimes you, the resin starts to pull away if you just resin up to the very edge. So if you let it come over and drip over to the side and then take the resin off from this point, you end up with a better adhesion so that the um, resin stays on better and doesn't start to peel up the sides. So that's my tape. I did three. There's two more over here. So and then what I do is I take and I spray. I spray into each of the corners. It's just just water. I um, use a, a bottled water because my tap water here at home is not good. So I don't use that. And I just soak it really good. And take a tip towel, rub it into the canvas till you get it nice and taut. You want it to sound like a drum. So, a little bit more. See where you can see where the dry spots are? What this does is this just tightens that canvas right up so there's no sag. Like these ones, there's, 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 and you can see these little dents in the corner. So that's why if you put the water in the corner, you will fix that problem. And then like, like I said, it just tightens it all up, makes it a really nice taut canvas. And since I do resin almost all my paintings, I like to have the canvas really tight so that it can hold that resin without pulling in the middle. those corners a little bit more because it's really hard to get to I mean you can use the spacers in there and stretch it out but I find this works really well let's see we'll let that dry now and we'll let it uh, stretch out and get nice and tight Okay, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to do the other one and then we'll have three canvases ready to go for my triptych. All right. Okay, 
So I've taped all three, I've sprayed the backs of all three, and this is the sound. Nice drum sound, nice and tight. And then I take these giant push pins I get from Amazon, and I put them in the corners of my paintings. These are my little, my little legs. Oops, not that one. And sometimes they just don't want to go in, so I give them a little help, a little nudge with my baby hammer. Maybe I'll just do that to all of them. And then I just do this to all my canvases. It's just a little pinhole that way in the back. So you want to make sure that they're all in and it's level. My camp, my table's level, and sometimes the canvases are warped a bit. Not much, but just a little bit. So when you put them on the table, you want to make sure that they are level and that's where they're going to stay when you get done with your painting. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and finish up these last two, putting the pins in, and then we'll get to painting. Mm -hmm. 